Hey everybody, welcome back. So I'm just out in the garage here today making a couple more of these paint can stoves. And I had a little bit of an epiphany on the leg design I wanted to show you real quick here today. So most of you have seen this uh, stove already. This is the existing leg design. Basically it's a four inch uh, bolt. I've got one here somewhere. Just threaded through from the inside with a wing nut threaded all the way up and tightened up. Then another nut attached and then either some strapping or a couple of washers and then another nut onto the bottom of that. So as you can see, <laughs> you know, it works, but fairly time consuming. When you're out in the bush and you got to thread four wing nuts all the way up, um, like I said, a little bit of a pain in the butt. Then you got all these other little bits of hardware to put together. Um, so I was kind of thinking about how can I change all that? So here's a new design that I've come up with here today. Uh, there's another stove that I'm working on. And the key component here is this connector nut. Pick these up at Home Depot individually. They're 88 cents. I don't know if you can see it there. There's one uh, attached on there. And, uh, or you can buy a box of 50 for just over 20 bucks. But a short half inch screw from the inside with the connector nut uh, threaded onto the outside. And then the same four inch stove bolt. This time I've got a washer on it and uh, a, a nut holding the washer on. And, and then all you gotta do is basically thread that leg into the connector nut, just like that. Just a few turns times four and your stove is good to go. Because I've got a washer on the inside, I've got good rigidity here. These can be torqued up at home, this can be torqued up at home, and basically really quick and easy to put together out in the bush without lots of little nuts and hardware <laughs> to get lost. So. So I thought I would just show you that really quick here today. And if you guys are in the process of making one of these, uh, I think it's gonna improve things a little bit. And if you've already got one made the other way, essentially all the hardware that you've already got, it's already gonna work. Just go buy a couple of connector nuts or four of them and uh, you can do a quick retrofit. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys find the information useful. Gonna take this one out, do another field test here pretty quick. So subscribe, watch for that. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.